We call this segment anti-gravity skateboards. Is that what LK99 is going to be? Is that's what it's going to enable? That's what I've been looking for all my life. Once I saw Back to the Future and uh, that uh, anti-gravity skateboard, that became my uh, my goal in life is to acquire that. And I thought maybe I could have that when I saw the stuff on LK99. But uh, this is amazing. I mean, it's like a comedy, really. Um, it's yeah, what is it? like what it what 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 is is it? I mean, is it is it uh, room temperature superconducting? It's room temperature superconducting, and uh, a group of uh, Korean scientists thought that uh, by mixing you know copper and uh, and lead and some other stuff together, that they had uh, actually uh, created a, a room temperature superconductor. Uh, there were three three scientists. That, there's always somebody that wants to get the news out. Uh, I had a I had a, a nephew that, regardless of what news came around, whether it was good or bad, he wanted to be the first one to tell everybody. <laughs> so there was a, a group of uh, kind of three rogue scientists that published a, uh, a paper on this uh, room temperature superconducting. And it turned out there were a lot of errors and problems with it, and it was retracted. And it was kind of a rogue group. And then six other people published another paper that had an equal number of problems, and that's being corrected. But there's been a, a lot of different people trying to validate this and recreate it. And it's been got some mixed reviews. Even uh, uh, one of the labs, uh, Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, uh, looked at it from uh, density functional theory calculation and said, you know, it could work maybe. And there's been a lot of other people who said, no, this is a big, this is a big farce. So um, you know, right now I don't I don't know where we stand. Uh, I might bring Pat in here. We talked to. Uh, couple of people about yeah it. yeah we talked to ibm about it Pro probably yeah. what, what did ibm have to say uh jerry chow about how this related to superconductive based uh quantum computers yeah yeah of course well, that's what we were interested in and uh you know basically he said uh you know if you took this material and uh even if you brought it down uh, to uh, like 15 uh millikelvins like they're doing with their superconducting uh, transmons you brought it down to that that cool level, it still wouldn't be any good for um, for qubits. So <clears throat> there's no uh, there's no it doesn't look like there's any any uh, opportunity to uh, uh, move quantum forward with this this material. But you know, I think maybe in six months we'll we'll probably know if they'll come down on a on a, on a solid uh, uh, conclusion, yes or no, on this. So yeah, no, it sounds good. And by the way, uh, sorry, fans, if you noticed, uh, we, we flipped into the Hot Desk podcast. I think I'm, I'm definitely firing my producer. <laughs> I mean, he's, the, he's the worst. Uh, no, actually, I, I do the Hot Desk podcast with uh, Melody Brew uh, later in the afternoon. I think somebody was in uh, making some fine, uh, uh, fine, fine uh, uh, tuning. So uh, I can't wait. And Paul and I, Paul, you and I are working on some sort of a, I don't know, a little 500 word uh on what, kind of what this means and what it doesn't i mean quite frankly it's all paul's genius um i might just make it easy uh more palatable to uh, uh choke down 